Hello and welcome everyone, I am Ducky O'Brien and today I'll be going over a build to automate the production of hydrazine using Astronium. This was in my update video but I didn't go over the details and I'm going to do that right now. Uh, this is in creative mode just to simulate, so just pretend this is in the core of a planet. We have the RTGs here powering the auto extractor, uh, it's going to be picking up Astronium. I put a resource plant down to simulate the fact that it's getting astronium. You can expand this to make it as large as you want or as small as you want. This is just the core uh, components of the production line. So you're going to be picking up the astronium and putting it into storage, preferably on LRC because you're going to be gathering a lot. It has in, uh, outputs enabled and then you have an auto arm here picking it up and depositing it onto a tall platform. Now I forgot the exact commenter but uh in order to automate the trade platform in a very efficient manner you want to make sure that you have the exact number of resources and you need six astronium to get eight hydrazine the tall platform has exactly six slots so here i have a storage sensor sent to full or empty and basically when this is full this auto arm will turn off this one will turn on and i'll deposit it here As you can see it's turning it it's only loading six at a time and then it activates the trade platform here we have a uh, medium storage with two compound that's exactly six slots after that it won't move anymore and then we have the trade platform here now this is very handy once again uh it will auto load resources onto it like scrap and astronium and it'll auto unload whenever it brings down this it should have been in the game for a long time ago, but now we finally have it, fellas, and I love this change. Anyways, this is it's gonna auto unload onto a medium storage silo. This auto arm is set to hydrazine, and then it'll just dump it into the canisters to store for later. Uh, I love this. You can do this for dynamite. You can do it for exo chips. You can do it for whatever you want. Um, you know, you don't even have to use this buffer. I like using the buffer because it keeps it nice and clean. You can use the clock cycle, you can use whatever you want. Um, I just like doing this because this is how I've always been doing it. But there you have it. It's a short overview. Uh, once again, a lot of people don't know how to filter items. You put the item that you want the out arm to grab onto the little slot here. And it will only grab that item. But yeah, this is fantastic. Look at this, you can use Astronium to exchange it for items now and that makes Astronium much more valuable, especially combined with an auto extractor. Alright, before I ramble any further, I just wanted to keep this video short. I hope that explains it. If you got any questions, leave a comment down below and I'll catch you guys next time.